What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy draw some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make the Simpson character, how to turn Bart Simpson into any person or any rapper or yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and pick the size of paper you want to draw on. And I normally use the 18 by 18 inches. That's why I started it right here. So I already got that selected. You know what I'm saying? Right here, then I can hit create. Now, what you want to do is, if you're using a digital tablet like myself, I'm using a UG tablet I got off Amazon. Link will be in the description below and it'll link you to my amazon where you can see everything i used or i'm using now so after you got to this point right here you want to set your pressure on your pen and you can't get pressure sensitivity if you're using your mouse you must have a digital art tablet and just like i told you i'm using the ug so what you want to do you want to come right here go to new brush then you want to hit okay then you want to come down here hit pressure and change these two bottom numbers to three then you want to hit okay and that's the brush i use you set it right inside of your adobe illustrator but you gotta have a digital tablet like i'm using i'm using a pen right now to draw right onto the monitor so i set my pressure on my pen where i can go light or i can go hard and it'll make some thick lines and it'll just give you that different variation so what you want to do you want to draw the opacity down on your brush a little bit because what we finna do we finna create a blueprint i always start out with the sketch first so <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do we're gonna sketch out how simpson look you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna start with his eye. Then I'm gonna create his little nose. Like that. I always start with you a nice little blueprint. Create that eye. His bottom lip. Bring it out this way. Bring it down. Bring it over. Go ahead and add the uh, eyelash. I mean the uh, skin over the eye. Let's see which way we're gonna make them look. Probably make them look this way. You know what I'm saying? Put this right here. Then we're gonna come this way. Put his ear. So you just want to do the Bart Simpson features before you start adding the personal features or whatever you want to turn them into. So I start out with the sketch first. Okay, now that we got the sketch, what you want to do, you want to move this over. Let me resize it too. I'm going to change the shape of it and make them a little wider. So, put them right there. Fit. Okay. Drop the opacity down on my sketch. 
lock that layer, create a layer above it. Now we finna do the clean line work. So you just wanna get the color black. Go back to your brush. Now we finna come in and we are gonna add some finer detail. We are gonna make everything sharp and crispy. So let's just go in. I gotta bring the opacity back up on my brush. Let's just go in. Now what I'm about to do, I'm about to come to the pencil tool, move this black to the top, make sure my bottom color is locked, and I'm finna use the pencil tool as a filling tool. So all you gotta do is trace the area you want the pencil tool to fill in. So let's go through the whole picture. Areas that's supposed to be black. Okay. Trace this.
Now that we finish with the line work, what you want to do? You want to highlight everything. You want to go to object, expand appearance, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. You want to duplicate the line work. Lock the top copy. Select the bottom copy. Let's find us a nice base tone for the skin. Make it a little red in there. Okay, that's a good color right there. Now, go to your rectangle tool. Select it and drag that color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. Highlight everything and then click merge your pathfinder so you can make the color become one with your line work. You'll know if you did this right if you look over here at your layer and you see your line work sitting on top. Right click the color, go to isolate, select group, and now select the outer color and hit delete. Now we can change these colors that's isolated in certain areas. So let's select the eyes. I hold and shift. Then I'm gonna hit um the white color on my swatches. Go to his teeth. Do the same thing. My eyedropper tool, just sample that eye color. Go to his mouth. Make his tone color. Now, we got a nice little base color down. Now what you wanna do, you wanna hit this drop down menu, hit it again, scroll down until you see your last black line work and you wanna lock them all, lock all the black lines, only the black lines. Unlock the top two, close that. Now we're gonna make a copy of that layer. Lock the bottom layer and cut the out. Come right here to the center. Let's go to our white arrow tool. Select the skin tone and delete it. We're gonna delete all the little brown. lock them black lines so it'll make it easier to be able to delete only the color without making a mistake and deleting our line work so delete that delete this delete that got the color the bottom piece to his do-rag so let me hit isolate select group go to my eye drop tool Select that and bet. Now we can turn the eye back on on our bottom color. Let's create us a new layer in between the two color layers we made. Now we're going to do the shadows on the skin. So let's get our eyedropper tool, sample the skin. Now let's find a nice shadow. Find a nice dark shadow for. pencil tool make sure you color on top and the bottom one is locked that's what you're gonna do all your shading with your pencil tool and all you do is just make a selection where you want your shadows to go then when you finish bring it back so you can close it off and it'll make a 
shuttle for you. I'm just gonna go through and make all my shadows. Okay, now that we got the dark shadow, what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight all our shadows we made. For the object, expand, get merged, so we can make all them lines become one. We're gonna go to edit, and we're gonna go to adjust color balance, preview. Pencil tool. Let's finish adding the shadows. Okay, now that we placed all those shadows where they need to go, let's do the same thing. We're gonna highlight it. We'll go to object, expand, click merge. We're gonna tweak the colors a little bit. So let's go to adjust color balance, preview. And let's play with our settings. Okay, I like that right there, so I'm gonna hit OK. Now we're just gonna add some highlights. So this is the last skin, skin tone layer. to create a layer right under the top line where it layers so we can add the shadows inside the mouth and the do-rag and the hat.
I'm finna select those colors and just tweak them a little bit, man. Yeah, object. Edit color. Then this time I'm gonna go to color harmony. Make sure I select all. There you have it, you guys, how to turn a rapper or yourself into a Simpson character. I will be dropping more vi videos on the Simpson. You know what I'm saying? More tutorials. More heat coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned. And your boy is out this thing.